Hello, Francois. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's been a week now. Yes, yeah, seven days exactly. Seven days exactly. Yeah. So you took a nice 11 and a half kilometer walk to my place. <laughs> right? And here you are. I could have walked the wheel to you, but it's always nice to have you visit. Yeah. Right? And I wanted to try. You wanted to try. Yeah. Exactly. So this is an uphill. This is a bit flat with some bumps. Or we go over to the ceremonial area Just where there's support for getting on. It's up to you. Mm. We'll see your first steps. Yeah, but first, to. let's wait for these lovely, loud children to pass by. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I got your wrist guards right here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put them on first. You're, you're gonna put them on? Yeah. Really? Yep. All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna rush myself for that. No? Alright, camera. So Francois and I were just discussing the transfer of bumps. Yeah. To the upper body and because how this will work, right? The if you bone get is broken here. The still. bone is broken. And it's, it's uh, starting to glue back itself. Yep. And I wonder uh, the amount of shock that will be transmitted mm -hmm. here compared to walking. I've been walking uh, every day. Yeah. Uh, since I can. Yeah. I think it's good for uh, Dear and fitness and, yeah. and recovery. Definitely. Let's see them. Oh, yeah. Ah, it feels normal, actually. Of course, it will feel normal. Yeah, oh, wow. It will feel normal. That's easier than I thought. Uh, Pardon? No, stopping is fine. Stopping is fine. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering. It's not stopping. jarring, right? Yeah. As long as you stop, if you stop gently, yeah. right? This, you will learn to be fluid. Yeah, because you have, oh yeah, you yeah. put like one foot. The flow like, like bang yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll yeah. get up gracefully yeah. and get down gracefully, slowly, as if you have been riding for two years, <laughs> but instead two weeks. So the wheel is uh, very good for mobility, even if you're it injured. Is. Okay. It is, yes, it is. Yeah. It's great, it's great. <laughs> uh, where do we go? Let's go straight down. Yeah. And I don't want to take the gravel part to the left, so we're going to go around to the right here, mm -hmm. okay? It's a good to ride, actually. Of course. Wow. Of course. Yeah. So wow. here you're gonna see really yeah. good bend, a great bend, the best bend you've done in your life. Oh, no problem. Right? The best it's bend. Almost no shock. It's almost no shock because yeah. you take everything on the lower body. The only thing that can be a bit problematic is the backpack, right? Oh, so let's yeah, go here. Yeah. Are we going here? Yeah. Sorry. I can only imagine with the V11. Yep. And the extra suspension, that must be so, so smooth uh, yep. to yeah, ride in any condition. As long as you don't get launched upwards, right? <laughs> because compression, compression downward could cause rebound upward. Yeah, like a uh, chain. Yeah, and I just oh. rode like into a big hole and I was oh. with soft lockout, yeah. but not soft and yielding. So when I rode in the hole, just now, you know, let's go left here. Yeah. If, if you would have done that, you know, I, I felt it. I felt it in my in my tooth. Yeah. I, in my non-tooth, I felt it in my jaw. You know, if it's you, like if boom. You, sometimes you ride uh, same as a bike, and you have the jaw not really. Uh, oh man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not so cool, yeah. I will avoid grass for now. Hmm. <laughs> it's not my friend. No. If you're going to ride on grass, then you scout the grass first. Yeah. Right, and then you'll be fine. But you know, this works very nicely, and uh, this will be a nice substitute for for walking mm -hmm. so now as you notice I don't have a helmet yeah uh, but uh, I have a, a speed alarm on my GPS watch yes I set it to 15 km per hour great so I won't drive like no right faster than that yeah and uh, I designed this I mean I chose the speed limit so I can like run you can run it off yeah exactly you can run it off yeah. if you want to trade backpacks we can trade backpacks it's right. not too heavy. It's not too heavy. Yeah. All right. Actually, the, um, I'm wearing a sling that yeah. holds the thing in place. 
It's kind of a backpack. That's great. It yeah. just holds the the clavicle at the right place. Yeah. So that's excellent. I was surprised. I thought maybe I cannot wear a backpack. But yeah. It's it's almost helps. That's really good. Yeah. That's really really good. And riding at slow speed is fine, right? It's fine. If you ride at slow speed and you have music with you, it's fine. Yeah. And constantly going at 10 to 15 kilometers an hour is fine. It's just great, you know, because then you can see the things that are around you yeah. instead of watching them disappear in a blur. Um, putting myself in, um, in the mind of a viewer right now, I think most people think, he is just crazy, what is he doing? No. <laughs> I think it's really good, you know, this, this is when, when elderly ask us, would it be safe for me to ride? And we say that it's safe for them to ride, yeah. you know, because that's what we say. We say that it's safe for them to ride, but this is their constant condition. Yeah, the condition um, that you are in now oh, yeah, yeah, is, the, uh, is their constant condition, right? That is yeah. their constant... Uh, yeah, more brittle bones. Yeah, uh, exactly, like that, yeah. exactly. So they can't afford to fall, right? They can't afford to yeah, fall. Hold on. Yeah. Just wanted to film that amazing sun. We will continue the talking once we pass by these beautiful cars and trucks. For educational purposes, slowly, super slowly, slower, slower, slower. With a broken bone. <laughs> With a broken bone. Right. No, it's fine. And now to the left, you have the other sequence. I would say that walking is more harsh on the yeah. depending on if you're a heel stomper or not. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> but, uh... Get him, Francois. Get him. You gonna let him Enough get away? Enough bad advice, Mike. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I know, I know. I've actually stopped chasing bicycles. <laughs> I've upgraded to chasing cars. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so we're gonna maintain a nice, cool 15 kilometers an hour, or slower. Right? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. And. Uh, Got this beautiful sunset, beautiful evening, and right? Francois wearing his très joli shorts, right? C'est très joli. It's amazing. <laughs> He's such an optimist. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, oh, I love summer. Very wide to accommodate the injury. Yeah. <laughs> Putting yeah. it on. Yeah. So we were going down a little hill further back and then his uh, wrist alarm went off you know that you know I'm like hey man we're really rolling down this hill now we're almost doing 20 kilometers an hour and then it's like oh the GPS is yeah. yeah it works that's great that's great and no tilt back just no no no, 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 no. you don't need you know right now I don't really want to the tilt back I don't think you want to be transferred in in, <laughs> in yeah, space you know against your will so and keep a uh, reserve for for safety against your will was that the point uh -huh. <laughs> well it is when you say it against your will <laughs> i say against your will he says against your will oh yeah i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's Deep a pun around. it's a pun if you say it <laughs> then it's a pun oh shit <laughs> that was close you gotta watch out for those Aggressive female riders in Sweden, man. Chew you up and spit you out. Actually, yeah, I really wonder when I will be able to ride the bike again. Because riding a wheel is very easy. But the transfer to the shoulder, man. Yeah. Give it a year. And Give it a year. Um, one of your commenters that had really helpful comment about yep. um, Zwift yep. uh, said he managed to break again later. I wonder how. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, once you break it, you won't want to break it again. So Wikipedia says that a full recovery, like for everyone, yeah. is five years. 
Yeah. Some might be faster. But yeah. Yeah. Really futile. Yeah. That's, that's a long time. That's a long time. Yeah. yeah. So that's how, at least how long it took for my bad shoulder. Mm. So for me, you know, there there are a lot of nuances to the whole falling thing. Because every time I fall, I'll always stretch out this hand and the force will transfer here. Yeah. So but it's funny because since it's floating. Oh, you're like a cat. Yeah, yes. like it's a cat. Just, it's the muscle uh, holding you. Yeah. But then uh, I learned, same on Wikipedia, that ideally you should not fall with the arm completely extended. Yeah. Because then this will break. Exactly. Uh, you should yes. not do like that. Yeah, you should yield into a plank. So you should yield into a basic plank so that you convert from the hand outstretched you just want to quickly go yeah, to the elbow yeah, yeah. and that's natural it's very very hard to just land stiff armed all yeah. the way out yeah, yeah. Uh, wrist guards will do a interesting thing because slide right? with the wrist guard you'll go out mm. so then the hand will go up and then you'll go down on your chest and that's your right yeah. Yeah. yeah so you know yeah, it transfers the fall to something else into something else yeah into a chest slam so uh, I have wrist guards, I use gloves. Uh, talking about injury... Uh... Hold on, let's continue after the cars. Yeah. We'll be back after these cars. So this is the max level of defensive driving. When it comes to defensive driving, we stay away from pedestrians because cyclists likes, like to pass by pedestrians very close to mark their territory and say, hey, you know, defense, defense. beep, beep. A lot of cyclists do, especially in Stockholm. You know, they like to pass by pedestrians a little too close to It's comfort. true that if the pedestrians are in the wrong place, you kind of want to tell them, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done that. But I mean, it, yeah. I have two, right? On the unicycle and on, and on my bicycle, but it's all fun and games until someone pushes you off the wheel. Yeah. Right? And I have been pushed off my wheel. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I got pushed off my wheel. Imagine you now getting pushed off your wheel. It would suck. And you know what? It always sucks. You don't need a broken collarbone for it to suck. It just sucks. So we stay away from pedestrians. We don't flirt and we don't tangle with pedestrians. It's true that one thing that that you cannot really tolerate on the wheel it's um, like being pushed oh, unexpectedly man, even man. if it's you pushing yourself because you yeah, touch yeah. a pole or something yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really hard to recover yeah very hard very hard Those, those, on the right. Yeah, but those, those two guys just came on demand, you know, just as I was speaking yeah. about, about pedestrians and so on, right? And then they come on that side yeah. and then they walk there and I ring my bell and then they give me a stupid look and then that's it, right? And then we got a guy on his bicycle coming down on the wrong path and so on, you know, so where's where's the safety? Where's the safety? Uh, I think the safety on the bike lane is due to the fact that people ride slow, yeah. actually. That's exactly. why you can cross people like that. Yeah, exactly. But so, then it breaks down if you're, everyone rides at 60 km. Oh man, yeah, uh, yeah. 45. Yeah. Uh, I really wonder how long it would take for cities to make infrastructure that's compatible with this type of thing. It's right there. There's the infrastructure. <laughs> Get on! <laughs> Get on the infrastructure. There's a lovely sunset. Well, not yet, but soon. Like you say, since we're going for a slow ride, watch out for the cobblestone. Just tram lining. Amazing. 
Okay, so even on the cobblestone, I can confirm that it's less shock and more comfortable than riding the wheel than uh, walking. So walking, yeah. if you have a pain somewhere, a bone or maybe a back, if you can walk, you can probably ride. Yeah, exactly. Here's some nice surprise bumps for you. That's the lesson learned. You can read them in advance. If you can't read them, then you're going too fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you can't read them and you're doing 50 kilometers an hour, how do you think that feels? What, what do you think about the choice being made there? Hmm, I can't see if there are any bumps coming in time and I'm doing 50 kilometers an hour. I wonder what will happen if I hit a bump. Uh, what scenario are you thinking about? Any in the rain and this puddle? So. No, no. Any bumps. These kind of bumps, these unseen bumps. Because the thing is, at 50 kilometers an hour, you have less time to see stuff. Yeah, 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 right? yeah that's true. So if you don't know the road... Oh, yeah, you see what I mean. Yeah. You can have a little bit of uh, type of distraction. Yeah, micro yeah. sleeping yeah, or yeah, uh, yeah. anything. Exactly. You look at your phone, yeah. a notification. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you high be. speed for me, you know, that will be on a known road, not on an unknown road. Yeah, I get very nervous on unknown, unknown roads. There are some shitty roads around where you live as well, you know, that can mm. be like really, really scary to, to do at speed. So there the, the MSX and the MSP are forgiving and the monster as well. How often do roads change? Yeah. That's a trick question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's find out because there's one coming right here that's really shitty. But we're not going to be on any car roads today, right? Because we're slow. Yeah, yeah. But this bike path will turn to crap anyway. Trucks are going places. It's got a bit of surprise, I heard. Yeah. yeah. See, he's he's transporting something. So he's yeah. he's got places to go. Yeah. Places to go. Got places to go, man. So let's see about this question. How often do roads change? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens in around 20 meters. <laughs> Nothing new, I guess. No. Uh, a road can change. <laughs> well, it's still the same road, but you know. <laughs> it just got shitty real fast. Yeah. When you go slow, it's it's no problem. No, exactly. And when you go fast, it doesn't have to be a problem either. Mm -hmm. Going fast, it doesn't have to be a problem, but then that's dependent on tire pressure, skill level, and so on. Okay. Yeah, cross. Then there's nothing. There's nothing. Like we should go here, but we cannot. Yeah, yeah. No, we just made it almost impossible.
look at that. What a beautiful dismount. <laughs> that was amazing. Extremely careful it dismount. It was amazing. <laughs> Look at that, look at that man, and look at that, that's one happy fella, that's one happy fella. Look at this view man, it's my favorite bridge in yeah. Stockholm. This bridge is great, yeah. this bridge is awesome man. We have a beautiful view of uh, Storeisingen. Yeah, yeah. Where, the, where a lot of French people live actually. Really? There's even a French school uh, there. So there's a lot of French people in Stora Essingen. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, cool. Somehow they like this place. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm going to have to explore, explore it someday. I actually haven't gone riding around here in that, in this area. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So it feels more comfortable than, than walking. Yeah. Right? But of course you have done the necessary walking now. In the yeah, past week. almost 10 kilometers a day. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, I read that um, movement would improve uh, recovery. Yeah. So what you don't want is just stay in position at oh, all no, times because no. yeah. then you're also afraid to move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't help your recovery. Sure. No, you'll get frozen shoulder and other yeah. problems and stuff like that. Yeah. Awesome. Let's roll it, roll it then, yes. man. All right. Here we are. Yes, everything went well. Everything went well. There you go. Right. So, as a electric mobile disability device, it works great. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's surprisingly well. Yeah. Did it feel unsafe at any point? No. No. no not at all. No. Yeah. no. Maybe when we were doing 12 kilometers an hour and had a car up our ass, you know. But then we were on the wrong place. Uh, did that really happen? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Even that. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Exactly. I've had bigger things up my ass than cars. Again? <laughs> Only in videos. I've had trucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and trucks are terrible, man. When the truck passes by you, poof! Oh, yeah. Such a gust of wind, man. Yes, yeah. Oh, the, my God. Can be That's out, scary. Yeah. yeah. All right. So there you go. <laughs> if you wreck yourself, you can still ride your wheel. At least, uh, I don't know about the legs, but the top is, is fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> legs, that would be terrible, man. That would be terrible. But you know, this is how old people would feel about riding. Yeah. You know? And then of course there won't be any New York City riding going on, you know, but it's still great to ride. Yeah. It's still for, great. for old people though they must take a wheel that you cannot over lean easily or something like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember and preferably that doesn't there. tram line and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, predictable yeah. behavior. Yeah. You don't want a 60 next with the CX tire. Look at it. What happened? <laughs> yeah. We out of here.